for those of you that want to uh, take the, bi the glue end off of your new Stampin' Up! catalog, I'm going to show you how to do that today. First you take your first page and you rip it off. And when I bind this, I always just do a few pages, or take it off, I just do a few pages at a time. And I'll show you here. I just turn them upside down so I know how they're going to be when I want to put them back together. And it's actually really simple. It doesn't take much. And this way, it'll save you a few bucks when you go to Staples to get it coil bound because then they don't need to charge you for cutting. They just charge you for putting the coil in. I always make sure that I tear my um, front and back separate from the rest. You'll have a little bit of extra glue and you just peel that off. So that's that. Now you need your Stampin' Up! cutter. Works like a charm. With the front and back I try and cut it on this score line. And then as I'm cutting, I just put it back together the other way. So when I cut this, I'll put it like that. And I cut mine at eight and a quarter. And no, I have no idea why I picked it. I think that's just where the glue was. bit of a boo-boo there. I forgot to go all the way to the end. There. Just make sure you line it up at eight and a quarter right there. And just pretend I've done it all. I'm going to show you when you do the front cover because it's got that scalloped edge, it's actually shorter than the rest of the pages, so I do that at about uh, just over, or just over eight, so about probably eight and an eighth, so that when you put it together with the rest of the book, you'll still get to see that uh, extra edge there. And that's as easy as it is, and then when you're done cutting it all, you bring it to Staples and they'll do it for you. Hope that helps you.